Hi friends, it's Miss Jules. I miss you all so, so very much. But today we're gonna resume our art courses. And today we're gonna make some little puppets. See how cute this is, a little puppet? Hi, hi there friends. She can go walk her cat, the puppet her cat. Yeah, hi. Meow, 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 meow. Hello, let's go on a walk. I'm walking, but I'm social distancing. See, no one around me. <gasps> Look at the beautiful butterfly outside. Look, isn't that pretty? We're gonna learn how to make these today. Ready? Okay, I'll put them aside. What I need as far as supplies are, so you're gonna need toilet paper rolls. And I'm sure with everybody hoarding toilet paper rolls, you'll have plenty of these laying around, okay? We can use construction paper or plain white paper. Oops, that has something on it. Plain white paper. That has something on it. Okay. So white paper, we're going to use markers. I have Copic markers, but markers, color pencils, crayons all work the same. Tape. scissors. These are kind of sharp. I hope yours aren't as sharp as mine. And maybe some accessories. And we'll go into that a little bit later. But most of the stuff you should have around your house. Now I have black construction paper to start with. So here's the black construction paper that we're going to start with with a paper towel roll. Or toilet paper roll, I'm sorry. Okay, so we need to measure the construction paper to the length of the toilet paper roll. And I'm just gonna mark it, see how I'm doing that right there? Mark it. And then just take my scissors and cut along that length. You wanna make sure you cut enough to wrap it around the entire toilet paper roll. So see how I'm starting here? And you may want to tack that with a little piece of tape right here. And we're going to wrap it completely around. And I have a little bit of extra so I can cut that off because we'll use it. Cut that off. Tape it again to secure it, or if you have a stapler and that's easier, you're more than welcome to staple it too. Stick it in there, staple it around. Now you have a black covered toilet paper roll. Now we're going to work on the antennas for our butterfly. So this is something that um, a lot of artists use, and it's also a math problem. We're going to fold a piece of black in half here. It's a little square that we had extra. So see right here, we have two halves. We're gonna make something that's called a symmetrical design. Look that up. So see, this is the folded part right here. And I'm going to take it, and if you can see here, I'm going to cut the antennas. So I'm gonna kind of arch it around. And you can do this with hearts if, if you're thinking in terms of doing that with hearts. But this is going to be the antennas. So see how I'm coming around here? I'm going to put it down like this. And then when you open it up, we'll have two antennas for our butterfly. Okay? So then you can just take a little piece of tape right inside there. And we're gonna tape that down. So our butterfly now will have his or her antennas. Sometimes I feel like I'm all thumbs with this stuff. So don't worry if you're all thumbs like me. Maybe a couple pieces of tape to secure it. It's okay. There we go. There we go. So now we have our two antennas doo, 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 sticking out of our little butterfly. We're gonna do the wings next. 
So we have our plain white paper. Again, we're gonna fold it in half. Give it a nice crease. And then we're gonna do the same thing, a symmetrical design for the wings. So I'm gonna draw mine out first. Here, I drew mine out and then cut it out. So we're going to go ahead and cut this out. And see, I'm cutting along the lines here. I just drew it. It doesn't have to be cut perfectly. It's not going to matter because we're going to add all sorts of really cool colors into our butterfly wings. So when I open it up, again, symmetrical, we're going to be able to have our butterfly wings. Cute, huh? Okay, so now we have to add the design to it. So I am going to take my black, show me this, if we can see this down here, my black Sharpie and start maybe making some fun little designs. Now when you're doing a butterfly, usually their kind of design should match. It doesn't again have to be perfect, but you should try and make it match as best you can to both sides. So maybe put a little holes. Butterflies are all unique, just like us human beings are unique, our fingerprints are unique. You know, maybe we want to have a little bit of swirl there. Come up here. Maybe around. Let's see, can you see that? See how I'm doing that? I don't know where it would be good to watch this, but I'm just adding some just little designs in here. Doesn't have to be anything too fancy. Just kind of ad lib. Okay, so I'm gonna put this back up here. There I am. Okay, so I have a kind of fun, funky little design going on in here. Then I'm gonna take bright colors and fill it in. So again, it does not have to be perfectly in line, and I'll show you why because it's meant to kind of just give you a guide. So see here, kind of a little sloppy, not perfect or anything, but it'll be fun when you get it done. So we're gonna kind of come around in here, color some of this in. Do, do, do. While I'm coloring it in, I'm gonna to talk to you about it's okay to be a little bit scared during this time. You know, I know it's been crazy and no one knows what's gonna happen, but I think we'll be just fine in all of this if we all just stay home, keep our heads on straight, and just take care of each other. Send each other positive thoughts, or maybe maybe call a friend and tell them you've been thinking about them. What do you think about that? That would be nice. Then pretty soon we'll be able to stop that social distancing and be able to see each other in person. And you guys can come back to my classes if you so choose. So just so you know, I teach art to individuals that have intellectual and developmental disabilities. And I do that at Starfish Project in Olathe, Kansas. Oops, that one's almost out. Let's try another. Oh, I want this pretty blue. That's a pretty blue. At Starfish Project in Olathe, Kansas. And that is a nonprofit that not only provides this art program that I do, but also um, provides a lot of much needed services to all sorts of individuals. People that are low income can come in and get some food that is donated to us. Um, and we also have social workers on staff that provide services. They are social work interns, so um, 
We love, love, love to help other people at Starfish. We can show you how to make blessing bags if you need a project to do. Uh, blessing bags go out to the homeless population and they have everything that they might need and are able to carry in their backpack. So um, it's really a good idea if you want to make something, make a blessing bag on your fair, if you guys are bored. Um, inside it goes a water bottle, um, maybe a energy bar or some other sort of um, non-perishable food item, some toiletries like soap and some washcloth, um, some toothpaste, toothbrush, just things that, you know, maybe if you're living on the streets, you might need. So um, just think of maybe making some of those. They go in a Ziploc bag, so everything must fit in the size of a Ziploc bag because that fits perfectly into a backpack. And a backpack is usually all that people that maybe are without homes uh, can carry around with them. So uh, maybe think about doing something like that. Oh, socks. Socks are very important to add to that. Clean socks are so important for us to have. I don't want stinky feet. So just remember, clean socks are really, really important. And you would want clean socks. I think we all want clean socks. So just think of in a blessing bag, they need clean socks. Okay, let's see. I'm almost finished with my coloring here. Get, oh, it looks nice. So we're gonna add some colors. And I think the brighter the colors, the better that you make it. But again, it does not have to be perfect because you can make it as detailed or as um, sloppy as you want. I don't care because it's just art and it's just fun. And that's the whole purpose of doing this project is to just make sure that you are having a good time doing it. So I'm kind of using my markers to go and fill in all the white spaces. I think it's always nice to fill in those negative spaces. That's what they're called. Empty spaces, negative spaces in the art field. But I like doing that so that everything kind of blends and is fun and colored. So here, doo -doo 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 -doo. see, not perfect by any means, but kind of fun. Oh, I have some more spaces I got to fill in. Okay. Mm, there we go. Okay, so there we go. So now we have to tape this on to the back part. The back part is either where your tape or your staples are. So see here, we're gonna put that on there and get that stapled on. Sorry to do this to you, butterfly. I don't think it feels very good. Okay. butterfly now if you wanted it to be more flappy winged like my other one is this one see how I left a space like that in between so you can do it either way this is also thinner paper here so it flies more this one is heavier paper so it's not gonna fly as much so it's how you want to do it okay next step eyeballs there's a lot of round things in your house that you can use to make eyeballs. And it's so easy. Let's use this one piece of paper that I've already used. And I'm just going to cut a little strip like this. And again, remember, we want it symmetrical, so we're going to fold it again in half. You can freehand cut this or just use your marker. We'll use one. So I'm going to take one marker here. I'm going to put it down here so you can see this here. So you can see it here. You can take, I'm using this marker, and we're just going to circle around to get our circular shape there. Okay? I'm going to hold it up for you to see. See? Just a circle. Simple circle. And then we're going to cut it out. Okay, and now we have two same shape eyes. See? 
So we're gonna take a little piece of glue and we're gonna glue the two eyes right there, okay? giving the stink eye to my husband. I told him I'm taping, what does he do? Come in and out. So that was the stink eye for my husband. Eyes on, do, 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 do. So cute. Okay, now I think they have like a little long nose that they, you know, collect pollen or whatever they eat out of. So we're gonna make a long nose for our butterfly here. And we can use the same paper and again, it's just cutting on the edge of the border. You can make a little nose, little nose, little long nose. So we're gonna add the long nose and I think it's maybe a little too, I want it a little bit thinner. So I'm gonna make mine a little, give it a little trim. Cause I think they have like a long pointy nose that they stick in the flowers, I'm not sure, but here we go. And I'm just gonna get a little glue on there. Glue, oop, boop. Sticky glue. Okay. There we go, a little off. We'll do that maybe, stick it to the side. I like that to the side, what do you think? A little lopsided. Okay, while that's uh, drying, we're gonna now work on our legs. And as we know, all insects have six legs, three on each side. So again, we're gonna get our folded, our little square and fold it in half like this. Now on the edge part, you don't wanna cut through that just yet, but you wanna come to the edges, look here, and make some legs. Now, if you see here, I'm not going all the way to the edge for the next leg. I'm gonna come up. So I came up right here. Can you see that? Come up a little bit and come around. So there's one leg, two legs, and three legs. Three legs, looks like a big E. But when I open it up and then cut it down the middle here, I can add my legs to each side, a frontward Z and a backward Z. So we're gonna come in here, see this edge here? I'm going to bend that up so I have a little bit of a lip. Can you see that lip right there? Just like, can you see that? Looks like how it comes up like this right there. I'm gonna use that to tape on the legs. So tape. Okay, and I'm going to stick the legs on right there. See that? Hi, hi butterfly. And I'm, again, I'm going to bend this side I have a little lip, see that? Little, little L right there. And I'm gonna tape on the other side. Okay. So, kind of hidden. Oops. And get that on there. So yeah, we have the other one there. Hi, I'm a butterfly. Okay, so now we wanna color in the eyeballs. So I used a pink here. So maybe I wanna take and just kind of make a halfway mark. Right there. Color in some eyes. Maybe a little two dots for the nose. See how I did that? Okay. Now, 
we are going to get our black magic marker, if I can find it right here. And we're going to outline it. So we have four from the little butterfly. The last thing I do is... Okay, the last thing I do is use one of these skewers. Now you can use a pencil to tape on the back or you can use um, chopsticks if you have them, plain old stick, doesn't matter. But I am going to actually stick this and I stick it right in between where the, the uh, construction paper is and the paper towel holder is. And so it can be a little butterfly that flies. Hi. I'm going to look for a flower. How about you? And that's super cute. The other thing is, you can do this with just about anything. So here's my little girl that I did. Get her hair. I taped on hair with yarn. If you have yarn around your house. This is tissue paper. So old um, tissue paper or um, wrapping paper that you might have and then I just pinched it and taped it so it looks like she has a cute little skirt added her legs again remember the symmetry rule her little face and her hands so you have a little puppet hi hi there I can dance do 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 or you can make animals so this one is just made completely out of construction paper. No drawing, but you can get creative and draw on stripes. You can make it whatever animal you want. So again, you can just tape this little tail. You can make, see, meow, meow, meow. You can do whatever you want and get creative however you want with just items that you have. So remember, Toilet paper rolls, which all you hoarders probably have a lot of these. Tape. Stapler. Construction paper or plain paper. Sorry, my dogs are right here. Construction paper or plain paper. Markers. And maybe some glue. That's it. And you can get creative. Next week, I think we're going. Nick. <sighs> Dogs are barking. It's hard to work from home. Okay, so all you need is simple items that are should be around your house. Yarn for the hair, tape, glue, scissors, construction paper, or wrapping paper, colors, coloring pencils, markers. Have fun, create, and then post pictures to show me what you made. Take care.